Welcome to our TLC video, which is introducing you to thin layer chromatography. This is a very important technique and you will see that or come across that very often in organic chemistry. Here you can see a TLC plate and a ruler which are used to hold the TLC plate and a soft pencil which are used to draw carefully a line. As you can see, I go to great lengths not to touch the TLC plates because that would show up later on as a fingerprint. After I've drawn the line, I will mark the spots where I want to spot different substances and I'll give that different names that are arbitrary on this picture but that will make more sense when you do an experiment and you can choose them accordingly. Again using the ruler to hold the TLC plate, here you can see a capillary and a solution of your substance in a volatile solvent which gets sucked up in the capillary as you could see here and that will now be used to spot on the TLC plate, do that briefly to generate a very small spot. You will repeat that with all the other substances you want to spot. Here we have a yellow one which shows it much clearer and this will be followed by two more colorless solutions. When you transfer the TLC plate into the TLC jar which is pre-filled with the element and has a filter paper at its back, take care not to touch the TLC plate but use a pair of tweezers. Put it in and you can see here it's very important that the level of the liquid is below the line of your substances and then let the liquid slowly move up the TLC plate. This part is sped up in this video because it takes quite some time actually. You want to keep the lids on top of the jar all the time because you want to maintain the composition of the atmosphere in the TLC jar. The filter paper at the back by the way helps to saturate the atmosphere with the alloyant. After the TLC plate has finished, open the TLC jar, take your pair of tweezers to take the TLC plate out and immediately mark with your soft pencil the front line of your solvent. After you've taken your TLC plate out, your TLC jar, you want to visualize your spots. Sometimes you can see it already under normal light, but quite often you will see some spots under UV light that is shown here. The TLC plates are impregnated with an indicator that shows up under a certain wavelength under UV light. That's the light green color. And after you've marked your TLC plates, you can try another type of visualization, which is the potassium permanganate dip. It's important that you have marked your spots because after the permanganate dip you won't be able to see it under UV anymore. As you can see here, sometimes already at room temperature you can see a color developing. Try to get rid of excess permanganate solution and then use a heat gun to heat the whole TLC plate up which helps visualizing more spots. This is shown here. That's at room temperature. After you started heating some time, the TLC plate will dry gradually and slowly some spots will develop if you have a substance on the TLC plate that can be oxidized. After you are finished, you can see the TLC plate as shown here. Different spots have shown up in different colors and after different amount of time. All that remains is to depict your TLC plate in the laboratory notebook and to calculate your RF values. Also remember to note down how you visualized your spots.